AA1 trailer. Installing a Howlex brake adjuster is simple and quick if you follow these procedures step by step. This video shows you how to install an AA1 brake adjuster with a given angle for the control arm on a trailer axle. Assembly Before you start, ensure that the vehicle doesn't move by blocking the wheels. Safety first. Make sure the brake system has a minimum of 6 bar air pressure to keep the spring brake fully released. Begin the installation process by checking the radial play in the camshaft bushing. To do that, move the camshaft up and down sharply. If the play is more than 0.5mm, the camshaft bushing needs replacing. If the play is excessive, the control arm will be exposed to extreme wear between the control arm and the fixed point. Now clean or brush the S-cam splines. Then brush on some anti-seized lubricant. Mount the fixed point, but don't tighten the screws. Position the control arm by rotating the control arm away from the hex nut until it stops. Notice the arrow that indicates the direction. It's important that this arm is pressed in the arrow direction later in the installation phase. Notice the white arrow. It shall be pointing away from the air chamber when the adjuster is installed. Slide the adjuster onto the camshaft. Turn the hex nut until the adjuster lines up with the push rod. Apply anti-seize lubricant to the clevis pin and slip it through the hole. Then install the cotter pin. This sensor is an optional feature. It indicates the wear of the brake linings. When the S cam is in the zero position, the indicator shall be lined up with the first mark. When the brake linings are totally worn out, the indicator will line up with the second mark. Slip on as many distance washers as you need to achieve the axial clearance of 0.5 to 2 mm on the S-cam splines. Then secure the circlet to the shaft. Now check the axial clearance. Conduct the final installation steps by positioning the control arm in the same direction as the arrow points on the control arm. For this particular installation, press down. If the control arm is not positioned correctly, the function will not be achieved. Now tighten the fixed point screws. Even an automatic brake adjuster needs to be adjusted manually the first time it's installed and when relining takes place. Rotate the adjusting hex nut clockwise until the linings contact the drum. Then back off anti-clockwise three quarters of a turn. The hex nut is quite heavy to turn and should click loudly during turning. Now you have finished the installation. 
fixed point bracket configuration will change depending on the application. However, the steps to install the adjuster are the same.